All right, so far, so good. Let's see what we have here for December 3rd. Right up here, a little push, a little pull. Get down to the And we have a Rioja. Tempranillo, all right. Let's go give this one a try. All right, so as I just showed you, this is a Tempranillo. It's from Rioja, Spain. It's a 2020 Tempranillo from Rioja, Spain. If you wanna look all that up, you should. Then you know if you like this, you should get more of it. If you don't like this, sorry. <coughs> you know, no wine shaming, but you can go try something else. Absolutely. So Tempranillos gener generally have a lot of uh, fruit flavor in them, red fruits, things like that. They also have a lot of tannins. And that's that little dry feeling you get in your cheek, like if you have walnuts or plums. Ironically, that's a um, defense mechanism. It's kind of funny. It's a defense mechanism for those plants against wild animals. Defense! <laughs> but we like it. Go figure. Anyway, lots of tannins, lots of fruit, low alcohol, but a lot of different wines use this Rioja um, Tempranillo as a base for other blended wines. However, we're just gonna try a Tempranillo today. And it's a lot of red wines. I just opened it, so I'm going to aerate it with my aerator. Release all the flavors. And as you know, if you go into a wine tasting and they give you a red wine, make sure you swirl it. It's another way to aerate it. Also, they know you're not there just to guzzle the wine. You wanna taste it and enjoy it and relax. Have a nice social event. Okay, let's give this a smell. You always smell it first. Because we absolutely taste with our nose. So get the flavors going through your nose. I don't care what you're drinking. Take a sip, uh, a smell first, right? Definitely smell some fruit there, but it's not very strong. At least not in the aroma end. Let's find out what it tastes like. Cheers. Yes, tons of tannins. I can feel the dryness going on my cheeks and especially towards the back of my tongue. Um, so what we usually do to counter that is to have a little cracker in between or some or fruit would be good to pairs with this like strawberries or something like that. This would even go well with a nice um, pasta dish with some red sauce. Ooh, that would be really good. Anyway, this is delicious. It's not overly strong, but there's a lot going on here. And I really enjoy it. I would be proud to pass this out at a party for my red wine loving friends have a nice temper neo try new things and definitely no wine shaming because if you do you miss out on so many new experiences keep an open mind enjoy your wine let me know if you have any comments about this wine what's your favorite kind and please, I don't say it every time, but this time I am, please hit the like button. Please subscribe, ring the bell. That way we can stay in contact and have a good time together for a long time to come. Thank you very much.